morning people um, just out on a little walk with Digger this morning um, quite close to where I live it's just a little circular route we do this old mine behind me dates back to 1850s, 1860s I think 1870s um, from what I know it was uh, employed about 250 men and women back in the day um, a lot of the granite came out of this mine and built a lot of the houses close by in Homebush. Um, yeah. So, heading back now down the path. Um, hope everybody's staying safe in a. We're sort of in self isolation, although we've got no serious health conditions, although. As you may or may not know, my wife suffered with MS and I've um, had treatment for cancer in the past. Uh, um, although I'm not having any, taking any drugs or anything and stuff that should cause any issues, but we're just being careful really. Um, that's all we can do, keep safe. And like I say, the vast majority of with this virus, we're uh, not gonna have any problems whatsoever. Might have a slight cold, I've got a bit of a sniffle now. But uh, but it's uh, obviously those with underlying health conditions, and there's many, many thousands of people who've got health conditions, you know. So just be careful where you go, who you speak to, what you do, what you handle, all that's the usual stuff. Don't listen to all the crap and fucking rubbish on Facebook. Follow the government's advice. I don't always believe in what the government say, but you know, they're the ones who are. Uh, have all the scientists, they're the ones with the medical knowledge and at the moment that's all we can do, we have to trust them so, you know, don't read on Facebook look at the uh, government websites and uh, follow their advice so stay safe, we'll speak to you all soon, take care, bye